favorite for Coach Hicks and what else brought you back around? Yeah, thought um thought we did a lot of good things. Thought we looked more like um, like ourselves. I think uh, um, you know psyche got a little bit bruised there. We were beat up and and um, both physically and you know it's just good to see our guys back. I you know Robbie obviously was sick on Wednesday and so see him look like himself tonight. Um, Isaiah coming back. Um, he's uh, uh, numbers don't show up, but I thought he looked better. I thought he looked quicker. I thought he looked more like himself. He had a couple shots go in and out, but I thought he looked more like. Uh, himself and, and he'll round back into into form. I, I really believe that, and just thought um, we had a lot of guys play well. I mean, they're they're a good team. They're hard to guard. They got uh, dynamic guards. They got bigs that can shoot. We had to go with some unique uh, defensive schemes. You know, putting Robbie on their point guard and and on Okani. And Okani made shots. Credit to him. He came in tonight. You know, ten for forty nine in league play from three, and he buries three and. Marquise Kenny had a made a three in league play. He makes one, so um, you know all those are all those are on me. That's scouting report. You know we're we're trying to play the the odds, um, but I thought you know pace was good. I thought we played with great force. I thought we played off two feet. Um, you know the way they guard you. Um, you know you're not going to get a lot of threes off. Um, you know it, it's you know a lot of, a lot of how you you know your shot profiles based on you know how the defense is playing you. And I thought. Um, our guys did a great job of getting their shoulders by, playing downhill, touching paint, playing off two. And I thought, obviously, Julian Larry was, was living in there. Ryan Conwell got downhill a ton. Um, you know, Jason Kent some. I mean, the guys did a great job of attacking, playing off two feet, because they're a terrific. They lead the league in shot blocks. Um, they're a terrific shot block team. I thought we did a good job playing off two, showing the ball, pivoting, and, uh, and, and playing good basketball. We struggled to make some threes, didn't shoot it great. but. Thought we got for the most part really good ones, and uh, so good team win. We have some some pockets early second half. I thought it looked like a pickup ball, and then once we got up around 20, 22 there in the second half, uh, you know, took a bad three, turned the ball over a couple times, and transition D got loose, and they got it right back to ten. And then I thought we uh, we stabilized there. It helped uh, the the Julians uh, drive and, and dunk was a was was a pretty good one. Ryan made a big three and Robbie made a big three there late. So um, with that, uh, open up for questions. Uh, you, you talked about identity coach. I mean, pitch count for lack of a better term, kind of what we can expect to see with him leading into Arch Madness with some more games left. In yeah, yeah. I mean, tonight was more of you know the the doctors. You know. Um, you know, they, they think he's fine to play. He's not going to do any further damage. It's obviously a pain tolerance thing. Um, you know, and, and I, you know, I didn't, I wasn't going to like, he's been dealing with one knee injury since December 5th. And, and that's something that's going to require surgery. He chose to wait on the surgery and play, um, you know, for his teammates. And then there's, um, his, his knee was bothering him more here the last few weeks. And they tried some different things, different medicines. Um, and, uh, you know, he was, you know, he was gutted post SIU and we talked about it for a long time and they went back to an MRI and now there's another issue and that's also going to require surgery. So he's dealing with two things that are going to require surgery as soon as the season's over. So I just wanted to, you know, it's important to me because like that kid is like the courage he's displaying and what he's doing is, is, is remarkable. And I knew, you know, I'm not a huge social media guy as we all know, but um, uh, I did hear you know you hear things and the narrative was well you know he's not playing well because you know he's not invested or he can't handle this or that or and you know that's that's um you know I, I wanted to make sure that that people understood like the the courage and the toughness he's displaying by being out there and I think he looked good tonight but it's it's always um you know we, we're really uh, you know I think I think all that the social media stuff it's great. Like I know we have, you know, like uh, message boards, and we have. I, I heard a Facebook fan page or something, and you know, and and I, I I think that's awesome, and I mean that sincerely because that shows how many how much people care, and the people are are, are logged on and posting. Now I tell our players, and I tell their parents. It's mainly the parents I have trouble with. The players are pretty good. Stay off there, and not for any other reason other than it's like anything else with social media. Um, you know, in today's world, uh, everybody has an opinion, everybody has a platform, but there's very few informed, you know, very few are informed, everybody has an opinion. And so when people are uninformed, there are certainly valid opinions, but I want to make sure that the narrative with him was, was accurate. And this kid's, you know, gutting it out. 
I don't know if he'll be able to, you know, go 38 minutes like he was going. Um, but can he play 30 minutes, 32 minutes? Doctors not giving any restrictions tonight was more of, I think, a tribute to the depth that we've been able to kind of develop. We always talk about the opportunity and adversity. You know, Jason being out, Robbie being sick, Swope being out has given Jake, even JD, he didn't get much tonight, but Jabo. And so uh, it was more of, you know, matchups and, and just who was playing well and giving us a defensive lineup there to switch more uh, down the stretch because we thought our switching was flattening them out. Yeah, I thought our I thought our pot was back. I thought our juice was back. I mean, um, you know, it's hard. It's a long season. You know, these guys are human. You know, everybody. Uh, you know, they're 18 to 22 years old. Uh, none of us feel our best every day. But I think we hit up. It was kind of at the same time. You know, we we were we were trending in a not a great place. Um, we, uh, uh, you know, did not come to play against you know Illinois State. Illinois State played great. So, but we didn't come to play. That was the one. I thought we competed at Southern Illinois. We didn't play great. We turned it over 16 times and, and whatever, but we, we competed there. Uh, and then I thought Valpo, you know, through a lot of adversity, we competed. I thought we looked better against Valpo. I thought Southern Illinois. But tonight looked like more of ourselves, you know, like like the energy, the juice, the team spirit. Um, and and all this is always with teams is fragile. You know, you'd love to be able to bottle it. And, um, you know, I have a lot of friends that are that are really successful at coaching. We all talk about it. It's 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 fragile. You know, mentalities, psyches, confidence can shift. And uh, our hardest job is always making sure that the guys are in the right frame of mind. But I thought like practice yesterday was great. Um, guys are focused on, you know, trying to finish this the right way. They understand the opportunity that they have. Um, and they've been talking about it, you know, I mean, like, like, is that even to themselves? I'm and Joyce says like, you know, that's not championship level. And that's what they're trying to, to get to is to make sure that everything we're doing right now down the stretch is at championship level so we can close this the right way. And, and, and our leadership internally is Julian, Robbie, Jabo, those guys have been have been lights out. Yes. Um, but, you know, how good does it feel to, you know, once again be in control of that destiny with the final week of the regular season now up on the schedule? Yeah, no, I mean, we, you know, that's what we talked about, you know, post SIU. You know, when we lost the second one we met back on Monday was, you know, if, if on June 12th when we met for the first time, you know, we all would have signed up for two weeks to go uh, in control of your own destiny to win a championship. We knew if we, you know, we obviously had four games left, and at worst, we'd have a share if we swept them. Um, but to be back in first is great um, by ourselves. Uh, and, and, but we know we've got, you know, a, a, a big week ahead. We got to go to Evansville, which is, you know, playing really good ball under Coach Raglan. I mean, they, you know, they, they beat Bradley there. They, Drake took a half court, you know, buzzer beater to beat them there. I mean, Evansville's playing quality basketball at home. I mean, really high level basketball at home. So, you know, if we're not ready to go, which I think we will be, um, you know, we'll, we'll get punched in the mouth, and it, they can they can really do damage um, there. Uh, but I think you know, for our guys, um, we understand the stakes. I mean, I've told them, you know, it's it's incredibly hard to win this league. I mean, I think uh, I don't. I, if I mistake, you correct me if I'm wrong. I think it was '71 we came in the league, I believe, and we've been able to do it twice in 53 years. So twi two times, 53 attempts. Um, they know the opportunity they have. And, and, you know, I've told them, like, you know, um, there is nothing better in team sports than really, like, completely investing yourself in something, uh, accomplishing it, and then sharing it with these people that have been coming out and supporting our guys. And so Sunday could be a really cool day, but we got to take care of our business. You know, the, the thing at this stage is no one's going to give you anything. You got to go out and take it. You know, you got to go out and take it. You're playing good teams. We got to go on the road and then come back and play a really good Murray State team. You know, we have to prepare well. But I, I, I feel like we're in a good space. I really do. I feel like we're in a good space uh, headed into to Monday and, you know, six days to a championship, two games, and, and we'll lock in and give it everything we have to make sure we have a, a big, huge celebration here on uh, Sunday night. Uh, Josh, it didn't seem like, um, it didn't seem like tonight, yeah, it didn't seem like there was any indecision kind of how some of your guys carried themselves on the floor, whether it was you know, offense or defense, several factors raised, several kind of aspects of the game. How much is that, like, seeing that kind of a return to form a little bit from, like, maybe the last 10 days, the last two weeks, how big is that for you to see that? And, like, what does that tell you kind of about this group? 
Yeah, I think, I mean, you know, the, the, this group is, has been, um, you know, we, we, we hit a patch. I mean, you know, when you're in a season, you know, the sky is going to fall, uh, you know, going in two or three times a year, you know, where something happens. We lost two in a row, sky's falling, everything's terrible. And, you know, you just got to kind of power your way through it, work your way through it. I thought, um, you know, we, we were really aggressive tonight, you know, uh, attacking the rim. And it, it goes back to, um, you know, people are always like, well, you know, they, they you know, shoot too many threes or whatever, but the defense in a lot of ways dictates, you know, what shots you're going to take. Like the way, the way Illinois Chicago guards are going to really pressure. Uh, they're not going to help a ton off shooters, and they're going to make you finish plays at the rim, and they lead the league in shot blocks. They got a bunch of guards that are really long and athletic that block shots. So you got to be able to play off two and finish plays at the rim and hit cutters. And I thought, um, you know, we were, we were really aggressive, but aggressive to make the right play. When guys, when I tell when guys hear me tell them to be aggressive, they automatically think that means shoot. But what we're telling them is to be aggressive to make the right play, and and the defense tells you what to do. And we generated a lot of you know paint touch kick threes. Like I said, Julian and Ryan were in the lane relentlessly. I thought Jason Kent was terrific. His cutting, his offensive rebounding, um, you know, just doing all the things that he does to bring value to us. We obviously. You know, missed him the two, you know, game and a half. He was out. Um, it's great to have him back. And like I said, Isaiah, I told him in the locker room, like, you know, his shots didn't go in the night, but he looked more like Isaiah Swope in 21 minutes. And I think, you know, we're going to we're gonna get the, the whatever the best version that he has. Uh, we're going to get that here as we're trending towards this last week and into St. Louis. And um, it was great to see our guys, you know, the, the spirit, the bench, the connectivity. Um, you know, we, we talk about it all the time, you know, our standard relentless competitive effort, uh, great detail, and ultimate connectivity, offense, defense, bench to floor. And I thought tonight, you know, for the most part, you know, we played to our standard. We played to our standards uh, with as good a player as we